Cats can read. Hello everybody, my name is Katie and welcome to another book haul where I basically show you about all the books that I received and acquired since my last book haul and there's quite a lot so let's just get started shall we. First of all I will begin with the books I received for review and the first book I actually won from a Goodreads giveaway and it's called Fever by D. Shulman and look at the cover to this book it's so gorgeous it's so pretty it's so pretty but this is about a 21st century girl and a gladiator from the past and a fever unites them together it sounds really interesting really cool and i just can't wait to dive into this book then i got if i could turn back time by nicola doherty from headline this is a chiclety sort of novel it sounds really quirky really funny and hilarious of course it's got a romance in it but it just says basically Basically, what if you found the one and then you lost him again? And it's basically about this girl who obviously loses this guy and when she's given the chance to snatch and to get him back, then of course she's going to do it, even if it means going against the laws of physics to do so. So it just sounds really interesting and I just can't wait to get into this one. So thank you, Headline. And also from Headline, I got The Geography of You and Me by Jennifer E. Smith. This one I'm actually really excited about. And the cover is blue. The cover is blue. But this is about Owen, who lives in the basement, and Lucy lives on the 24th floor. But when the power goes out in the midst of a New York heat wave, they find themselves together for the first time, stuck in a lift between the 10th and 11th floors. And as they wait help, they start talking it sounds so interesting just straight away and i just know i'm going to love and adore this book and just uh, i just i can't wait from harper collins i got tanif low in the maleficent seven by derek landy now this is a book that sort of spins off from the skullduggery pleasant series which i haven't read so this is a bit a weird book to send me so I don't know whether I have to read the series Skullduggery Pleasant first or whether it doesn't matter whether I read this or not but I mean look at the back there that is freaking scary so scary but I know but thank you so much to Halfpoints for sending this to me I will check into that and we shall see we shall see but if you guys know then let me know in the comments because I don't know from Penguin, who are awesome. They have sent me Winger by Andrew Smith. This comes out at the beginning of June and in the UK, might I add. It's already out in the US, of course. But in paperback in the UK, look at this interesting cover, even on the back. Just that artwork is so fascinating. I've heard so many fantastic things about this book. I read Grasshopper Jungle by this author and I, it was kind of hit and miss for me. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna think about this book, but I have heard good things. So hopefully I do enjoy it. I'm really excited to begin this book and I'm really looking forward to all of this. Also from Penguin, I got Popular, a memoir, and this is by Maya Van Wagenen. I really am sorry if I butchered your name. <gasps> I'm sorry, but this is Vintage Wisdom for a Modern Geek and it sounds so interesting. It's quite a short read and it sounds really quirky. When Maya finds a 1950s guide to popularity, she embarks on the unique social experiment. For one school year, she follows the advice of its author, teen model Betty Cornell. It sounds so interesting and I can't wait to just dive into this and to just see whether it does work. Who knows? From Penguin and the author actually, through Penguin, Tamara Weber, she's fantastic. I read Easy by her and that was just, it was just so, so good. I will link the Easy review that I did in the description box below if you wanna check it out, it's spoiler free. But this is called Breakable and this is told from Lucas. So, so excited to begin this book. Like you have no idea, no idea. It was just, Easy was just amazing and just Lucas, Lucas, Lucas. But it was such a perfect read and you need to check it out and I need to check this out. And then finally from Electric Monkey, I got Pretty Lethal and Pretty Deadly and these are both by Joe Schreiber. 
and obviously books one and two. It says on the back of the first book, Gobi is a trained assassin out for revenge. She must hit five targets by daybreak. But what Perry really wants to know is this, is Gobi going to kill him or kiss him? Sounds cool and I can't wait to get into these. And the other book from Electro Monkey is I Project a Riot and this is by Catherine Bruton. And this is inspired on the London riots, which I didn't actually know too much about. So it sounds like one of those really interesting reads. I mean, when books are actually inspired on something, it makes me more intrigued and interested to read the books. Amateur filmmaker Maggie prefers to watch life through the lens of her camera. In Tokes and the Starfish Gang, she finds a great subject for her new film. But when violence erupts around her, Maggie can't hide behind that lens. So it sounds really interesting. And I can't wait to read and do a video review on this. So now let's move on to some other books that I bought. Now these I got from my library sale, where you fill a bag for one pound. And I just shoved a load of books in, because that's just what you do, and that's how you do it. Tactics, guys, tactics. But I got The Family Fang, and this is by Kevin Wilson. I haven't heard of this book before, but it sounds so interesting. As soon as the children grow up, they flee home, desperate to escape the chaos their parents well. But when their lives come crashing down, brother and sister have no choice but to go back. And whether the kids agree to participate or not, Caleb and Camille are planning one last performance that will finally determine what's more important, their family or their art. Then I got The Next Big Thing by Judy Waite. Haven't heard of this before, but this is about Elliot who is discovered singing in a car park. He's scooped up, signed up and tied up by a major record company. And before he knows it, the world is at his feet and everybody wants to be a piece of the Elliot brand. But he's not sure that he wants to be a brand. All he wants to do is sing. Is that too much to ask? As he seems his dreams are slowly turning into a nightmare. He is torn between the old life and the new. As I like singing, I thought this would be interesting to read. Then I got Buttercup Mash by Joanna Nardin. I haven't heard of this book either. But it says here, do you ever feel like your life's going to be a bit crazy? That you're not in control of anything at all? And at times like these, what's a girl to do? Shopping, cinema, hanging out with friends or singing ballads and dancing like a demented giraffe on Sugar Rush. It may not sound very cool and definitely isn't very calming, but it's Glee Club and that's exactly where Buttercup Joe's is heading. So it actually does sound pretty cool and pretty fun and full of laughs. Then I got My Love Lies Bleeding by Alexandra Harvey. I've actually read this book, but I read it like a couple of years ago. So when I found it in my library sale, I was just like, yes, yes, I'm gonna pop that in because I kind of can remember it, I kind of can't. So I just, I want to read this so I can just, can just remember everything that's gone on. And then I found The Calling by Kelly Armstrong. I only borrowed this in the library when I read it. So when the library had it, I was just like, you know what, I need that because I really enjoyed this book. It was so, so awesome. This series is just amazing. It's about shapeshifters and it's just like, oh my God. So you need to check this out. And this book, yes, so glad that I found this. Holly Starcross by Bailey Doherty. Look how the author's name is massive against the book title. Do you know who I am? Holly's world came apart when without warning, her mother ran away with another man taking Holly with her. Holly was just six years old and from that day on, she has no contact at all with her father. Eight years later, a new family around her, Holly feels very alone. Her old half forgotten life calls to her and she's desperate to reclaim it and to find out who she really is. And then one day, a stranger appears and she embarks on a dangerous voyage of discovery. But is it voyage to her past or to her future? Sounds interesting. Sounds interesting. Then I found a book by Kevin Brooks and that is Candy. So another book by Kevin Brooks. I haven't actually read this. And this is about Joe, and he is hooked from the moment that he sees Candy. What is it that catches his eye? Is it her hair, her smile, or just the way that she's standing? And when they chat over coffee, there's an instant attraction. But can love really be this sweet? He takes Candy deep into his soul, and he thinks about her night and day, and even his music throbs to the sound of her name. But Candy also takes him somewhere else, to her world, a bitter place of drugs, 
violence and hopelessness. So it sounds really interesting and emotional. This book I have seen around on booktube, but not for a while, and that is When God Was a Rabbit. And this is by Sarah Woman. And it's really interesting how this cover sort of reminds me of cardboard. <laughs> but it just, I don't know, it's kind of interesting at the same time. But this sounds really cool, and I just didn't realise how cool it actually sounded until I read the synopsis. This is a book about a brother and a sister. It's a book about childhood and growing up, friendships and families, triumph and tragedy and everything in between. More than anything, it's a book about love in all its forms. Sounds so cool and just, I don't know, it just sounds like a book that I would enjoy. And the final book I got from my library sale is Walking Home with Mary Claire and this is by Kirsty Murray. The day Mary Claire walks into PJ's life, everything changes, whether they are wagging a school or just hanging out on the beach. She can make any day an adventure. She's funny and unpredictable and full of good ideas. Well, they seem like good ideas to start with, but why won't she let PJ visit her house? What really happened to her older brother? And why won't she listen when PJ tries to steer them out of trouble? So it sounds like a really interesting contemporary and I can't wait to read this, it's quite short as well. Then I found two Safety Kinsella books in a charity shop, one being 20s Girl and I'm really excited about this one. This was actually found in practically brand new, the spine isn't cracked at all and it looks like I just found this in a normal bookshop. So for £1.50 I had to snag this. I'm really excited about this, I love Safety Kinsella, she's a fantastic writing style, she's great chiclet books and I just, I'm really looking forward to reading that one and of course I'm in my 20s so I don't know but then I also found Wedding Night by Safe Kinsella a hardback for £1.50 I was just like oh my god that's just that's just amazing so I need to read more Safe Kinsella now I've got a couple more of her books yay books that I bought from websites I got Blood Red Row by Maura Young from an Amazon seller and this was like £2.80, it's brand new and people have been pushing this series on me lately. This is the first book, I got the sequel for £1 from the works, I think it was my last or maybe. So I had to pick this book up and I'm excited to begin this series, I've heard absolutely fantastic things about this and I just I really honestly can't wait. In the dust lands you fight or die. And from another Amazon seller, it was used and it's called Where She Went by Gail Foreman, which of course comes after If I Stay, and I loved If I Stay, it was so good, so I had to get this sequel, like oh my god, and this was only like 280 as well or something like that, I think, I can't remember right now, but I can't wait to carry on with this book. And from the book depository, I got Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover, and I've heard so many great things about this book. I've been wanting to get this book for quite a while, it's been on my wish list. But I want to get this cover because I prefer this cover to the UK one. Plus, it's floppy paperback! Colleen Hoover is one of the queens of new adult books. And I need to read more new doll books. I've yet to read a book by her and I've heard she's just fantastic. I need to read more new adult books. I've been weeding too many young adult books. So why not begin with this one? Then I got some books from Waterstones. I got The Worst Girlfriend in the World by Sarah Manning. And I got this the day it was released. I haven't read it yet, but I'm looking forward to reading this book like so so much like oh, oh my god just, just I love Sarah Manning like her books are just fantastic she's an amazing writing star and I just I can't wait to dive into this I also got Fearsome Dreamer by Laurie Eve and this is a book that I've been hearing really good things about and I just was like I saw it in the shop so I had to get it I was it's just one of those things when people just keep selling books to you. They're like, yes, this book is good. Yes, this book is good. Yes, this book is good. Okay, okay, I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. I don't really know like a lot what this book is actually about, but I like the cover. It's really awesome. And if people say it's good, then it must be good. A contemporary romance that I just want to read is Amy and Matthew by Cammie McGovern. 
love story. Funny, you wouldn't get that by the heart and the names and the heart. But this is a story about Amy and Matthew, about being different, it's about feeling alone, and it's about finding each other and falling in love. So, yeah. And I got this book with my voucher that I got from my mum, because she gave me love to short vouchers for my birthday and I had one left to spend. So I spent it on this book, and it's beautiful. And I want to read it like now. I want to read all these books now. So this is Deep Blue, the first book in the Water Fire Saga. And this is by Jennifer Donnelly. And oh my god, is this a beautiful, beautiful hardback. It's gorgeous and oh, just... Oh look, there's a map inside. There's a map inside. Oh, let's look. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love looking inside hardback flaps. It's just, it's beautiful. It's so, so beautiful. But I'm excited to read this because like mermaids and oh my God, I need to read more books about mermaids. I haven't really read a lot of books about mermaids. I feel like I've read too many books about vampires and stuff and not enough of mermaids. So I need to read it. So in the village next to me, they have a new water stones that had opened. So of course I had to go and venture to that village and to see what this water stones look like and it's so beautiful it's just it's so gorgeous and amazing and of course you can't go into a bookstore without buying books well some people can because they have some restraint but when you see books that you just like oh my god i want to get that I need to get that now and of course i got these and i just i just couldn't go without getting them like i am denied and i was like <laughs> so I got them, I was just like, you know what, YOLO. It's literally one of my attitudes lately. But I got Raging Star, which is the third book in the Dustlands trilogy. So I now have all of the books. And I like this one, because it's green, and it's pretty, and it feels nice in my hands, and it's just so cool. I mean, now I can just power through that trilogy and just enjoy it all. But it's just, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And I saw it, and I was like, that needs to be mine. To be mine! And the other book, which is probably the most expensive book I have ever bought in my life, is Zelda Hyrule Historia. And if you are a Zelda fan, then you will understand my excitement. When I saw this book in the Waterstones, and this was about £26, it's so heavy. You can literally lift weights with this book and oh my god but it's just it's so gorgeous let's have a little flick shall we it's just oh just oh i can't even hold it i can't even hold it it's just it's got information in it and images and just all about all of the zelda games that there are ocarina of time plagiarism mass every single piece of zelda information is in this book and it's just I just, and now I have it in my hands, like I saw somebody hold this once and I was like, I want that, I'm so jealous of you, I want that book, and now I have it, I'm just like, I've got this, are you jealous, you better be. I got The Rising by Kelly Armstrong, it is the third book in the Darkness Rising trilogy, that is the name of that trilogy, and of course I read the first and the second, this is the third and final and I'm excited. I'm so excited to read this book. So I, when I saw it, it was it was like a sign. It was like a sign. And I also got The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass, which is the Throne of Glass novellas. And it's so gorgeous, it's so pretty, and now that I have it, it's just like I need to read you. I need to read you. It's so pretty. I think this is actually my favourite cover. Of all of them so far. And the third book that I got is The Enemy by Charlie Higson. They had a cover change with this series, I haven't read it. I prefer this cover change. It has a real dystopian feel to it and all the covers there on the back have the same similar sort of covers and I'm really excited. It just sounds really good and just just sounds so interesting. I really like apocalypse sort of books, you know, when things happen later on in life. It's, I don't know, I just think it's interesting because it just sort of makes you think like, what is gonna happen in like so many years time, like in a thousand years time or a hundred years time, what is gonna happen? Are we gonna have an apocalypse? Are aliens gonna take over the world? And stuff like that. And these books just 
give you that ideas in your head. It's just like, is it possible? Will that happen? Mm. Okay guys, so some books just literally came in the mail and as it is still May, I just thought I would include it in this book haul. And first of all, I have City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare, the final book in the Mortal Instruments series. And it is so, so good so far. I'm 140 pages in roughly and it is just full of so much awesomeness, so action packed and shit is literally going down this book. I can't wait to read more. Unfortunately, when this copy arrived in the mail, I noticed it had a missing chapter, so I contacted the book department and they replied pretty pretty quickly actually and they're going to send me another copy they said I can keep this as there's no point in sending it back as it's got a missing chapter but I am currently reading this it's awesome and I love it and I just like oh my god it's just so so good and I'm just like I feel like I'm just gonna be really really upset when it's gonna be all over but I just thought I'd show you this as well look at the inside of the flap I love doing this for hardback books it is like an animated picture it's so cool you can also see the spine there absolutely beautiful I'm really 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 just happy with the cover design of this book it's so chunky over 700 pages this is gonna take me forever to get through but I'm so excited about it all the same just oh my god and there's the review book came in the post I got Witch Hunt by Ruth Warburton this is in the winter trilogy and I haven't read this uh, I know Ben from Benjamin Tomes has it's got witches in it it sounds really awesome I love the cover designs of these books they're so so pretty and I really need to read some books with witches in so maybe this is the series for me I probably will start this soon hopefully so thank you so much to Hodder for sending this from Hatchet I got the Moment Collector this is by Jodie Lynn Anderson this isn't released until August it sounds really awesome and eerie and look at that just look at that cover it's really spooky and I'm really excited, it's actually quite a thin book. And they also said Between the Lies by Jessica Serpentin, this also comes out in August. This is obviously a proof copy and this one sounds really, really good and I probably will begin this soon because it's just, just you know one book, it's just grabbing your attention. This is just one of those books. And then finally from Bloomsbury I got Take Back the Skies. This is by Lucy Saxon. I love the cover to this book. I know this is literally released the beginning of June and gorgeous, gorgeous cover. I'm so excited about this. Thank you so much for sending that Bloomsbury. And they also sent me this book which I've heard nothing but good things about. This is called The Winner's Curse and it's by Mary Rutkowski I think. I'm not sure. I don't know a lot what this book is about but I just heard absolutely fantastic things and fantastic reviews and I'm so excited so this is probably going to be one of the next reads I'm going to read because I just want to know what everybody is talking about. So that is the end of this massive book haul, it's so big and huge, I'm so sorry I didn't go into a lot of detail about all of the books but that's what Goodreads is for, you can check them all out on Goodreads and just be like I saw she hauled that, sounds good, I'm going to buy it put it in my wish list, you know. So many books, so little time, but that's just what happens in life. Let me know down in the comments if you've read any of these or if you'd be interested in any of these or if I've been a real naughty girl, if I've made you add books to your wish list, if I've made you buy books, then sorry not sorry really because <laughs> it's a good thing we should enjoy all these things in life. Sorry for all the craziness. I can get a little bit out of control, but it's these books, it's the fumes from the books, it just it affects me. But I hope you have enjoyed this video, and please do give me a thumbs up. Thank you so, so much for watching and for sticking with me, and just to let you know, i got a new phone now, so I've got an Instagram. So I will link my Instagram in the description box below. Feel free to add me because I'm always taking pictures of like new books that I get or books that I'm reading, things that I'm eating, anything. I'm obsessed with that at the moment and you can follow me, I'll follow you back and we can all be a big happy family. Take care of yourselves guys. Thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!